too. So I'm going to record this because TikTok keeps giving me the green to the red button. So I'm gonna record this and I'll upload it on YouTube for you guys. So, Miss Maria Driggan, you are first on my list. Let me see if I have your chart already. Thank you for the gifts, love. And if not, you will get a bright, clean, squeaky clean little chart. If it decides that it's actually going to uh, let me do the things. Or not. Or not. There we go. I guess I'm gonna have to go very, very slow and be very, very nice, and very calm with it. Maria, I do not have you, so you get a new chart. So as long as I go nice and slow, we're all right. <laughs> we're all right, as long as we go nice and slow. So I only have a couple of tickets left. What I'm doing is pulling your astrological charts. You do not have to know what time you were born. And I'm going to forward your transit chart to right now and see what is in your fifth house because what is in your fifth house is what you are lucky in currently. So Miss Maria Dragon, are you ready? You have a couple of things that sit in your fifth house right now. Your fifth house is in Pisces, meaning emotions, but you also have your Jupiter and believe it or not, your Mercury sitting in your fifth house right now. So Mercury is your communication. Your fifth house is considered where your luck lies. So right now, your luck is in your communication and your Jupiter sits there too, which is your ability to use your personal powers to sway others. Being that this is all in Pisces, Miss Maria, oh, you're kind of a powerhouse right now when it comes to using your words to impress your personal power on someone. And I don't mean that in a bad way. You can literally use words right now to manipulate a situation to any favor that you want, Miss Maria. That's a very powerful thing to hold. You also have, um, a ton of fives here. You have three of them in your fifth house. So the number five is also very lucky for you right now. Like that kind of surprised me. I was like, that's, that's a lot of fives. That's a lot of fives. So Miss Maria, you have a lot of luck right now. Lucky number five. You're lucky in your communication and you're lucky in your personal power. As long as you keep your emotions in check and trust your gut, girl, you, you can kind of own the world right now. Seriously. You can kind of own the world right now. Just saying. All right, Miss Alyssa Roman, you ready? I'm pretty sure I don't have your chart, but I'm gonna look and see. Nope.
Miss Alyssa. Hmm. Very interesting. So your fifth house currently sits in Gemini. Your sun is right now in your fifth house, as well as your Venus. Your Mercury sits right on the line between your fourth and your fifth house. Your sun and your Venus are also both at 10 degrees. So 10 is going to be a lucky number for you. Girl, you are super lucky in anything womanly right now. In your feminine power, in your love, in the way that you um, project your feminine, your divine feminine, that's where your luck lies. That's a massive amount right there. And being that your sun sign currently sits there as well, you're just exuding luck. So I would bet that right now, people around you are able to be around you and suddenly they get the job they want. They find the perfect person. They win $50 on a lottery ticket, things like that. Being that your communication sits on the line with your fourth and your fifth house, you're gonna have to be careful with that. As long as you use your communication creatively, and don't try to knuckle down too hard on something, then you can absolutely use that to your advantage too. But overall, you have a massive amount in your fifth house. All that feminine power, every bit of it, Miss Alyssa, every bit of it is right there. So watch out for Alyssa right now. <laughs> with all of that feminine power. I'm just saying. All right, Miss Minnie, you ready? I'm pretty sure I have yours already, let me look. I do. There we go. I was like, I know I have water here somewhere. So right now, you don't have any planetary placements in your fifth house. But what you do have is your fifth house sitting in Aries. In fact, it's the only thing in Aries right now. So your luck right now, Miss Minnie, lies in starting new things, turning over new leaves getting old, uh, getting rid of old habits and starting, starting over fresh, not questioning things. So like when you have an idea, like, I think I want to do this, or you've been thinking about something for a while. I knew it was coming. Yeah, it is. If you've been thinking about changing jobs, if you've been thinking about starting a new hobby, if you've been thinking about changing the way you go about things, you do things. Now is the time. Anything that you were wanting to start, now is the time. Being that your Aries completely takes up your fifth house, that is all of the firepower for starting something new. Anything new you start right now is just going to be lucky, 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 lucky. So, that's actually pretty, pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> That's pretty damn awesome. That brings me to Miss Kimber. Do I have you already, Miss Kimber? I don't think I do. Let's find out. I'm having to go slow. Just make sure that I don't screw anything up. That was a weird sound and not one I really cared to hear. <laughs> I do have you, Miss Kimber. There you are. 
It's like, I could have sworn I had put you in here. All right, what's in your fifth house right now? Okay. There's the second one. I knew that was coming. So, you actually have two things in your fifth house right now. Your fifth house is in Gemini with a tiny bit in Taurus. Meaning your luck right now lies in being able to do two things at once. Be two people at the same time. Be careful to not be too bullheaded about some things because that will stop that luck from flowing. But your ascendant, your rising basically, the... Um, view you put out to other people that is firmly in your fifth house and it is at one degree like it is taken over so you can literally manipulate situations right now by putting out what you want to happen so say you're going in for a job interview you really really want this job it's almost like you're a chameleon and you can put on the Kimber suit that's perfect for that job. You're going on a date and you really, really like this person and you would kind of like them to stick around. You'd like to have a second, third, fourth, tenth date, whatever. You literally can be that chameleon and put on the Kimber suit and keep that person around as long as you want. Be Mystique from the X-Men. That's literally you right now. You're able to be the... Uh, the chameleon kimber that's what's in your uh fifth house right now girl being able to be very fluid and be who you appear to be does that make sense be who you want to be you get it yeah you get what i'm saying yeah so just channel your inner mystique from from uh x-men that's a pretty strong power to have, Kimber. It really, really is. Your luck is in what you put out to others. So I would also say be very careful with that and make sure that you're putting out the right thing to others. Because that could backfire really, really quickly too. All right, Miss Susie Pope, Pope Joy. I don't have you yet, so you get a brand new chart, Miss Susie Susie. Oh, Susie's a Christmas baby. Miss Susie, here we go. Get your chart pulled up. Okay, you have a very powerful house. Very powerful fifth house right now, Susie. Your entire fifth house sits in Aries. So just like I was telling Miss Minnie, you have a massive amount of luck in starting anything new right now. But you have two planetary placements in your fifth house as well. You have your Mercury and your Saturn. Mercury is the planet of communication, meaning your words have a massive amount of power right now, Miss Susie. And your Saturn sits there, which is your planet of karma. Be very careful how you use that. <laughs> you can speak things into existence right now as far as karmic ties go whether it's breaking them whether it's shifting whatever it is be careful how you wield that power so start all the new things use your words carefully and be super careful <laughs> be super careful at um how you put karma out into the world that's that's a lot of power to wield there, Miss Susie. 
That's a lot of power. All right, so I have Miss Kathy Mazel and then Miss Christine Carver. And I know I have y'all's charts. I think I just jinxed myself because I was like trying to go too fast. Shit. Y'all did not see that yawn. If my Wi-Fi was better, I would add a couple of uh, places to my reading list tonight, guys. But it is now doing the same thing it was doing a while ago. It's almost like it's going in spurts. Sometimes it's great and sometimes there's nothing. This is so, so, so bad. Like it even says I'm connected to the internet. Kathy, did you break it? <laughs> mm. Here we go. So, as you guys know, we were at the El Rancho last night in Gallup. And so, while I was there, I went ahead and got my nails done. It's the same place I did my nails the last time. And I love how they came out. She did black with white tips. And I know that you guys can't see it very well in here. But the uh, this is the uh, powder that actually has, she put the glitter, mixed the glitter in. So, the black in my nails glitters. All right, Miss Kathy, let's see where your lucky house is live. What's in your lucky houses right now? Oh, okay. So there's good and bad in your lucky house right now, Kathy. In your fifth house right now, it is split between Leo and Virgo. No, yeah, Leo and Virgo. Meaning, you have to be careful because you can start all of the drama right now. But the good part is you also can see through the drama in things. Being that you have your Leo and your Virgo there, you do have a placement in there too, so we'll talk about that in a second. But being that you have your Leo and your Virgo both in the fifth house, you're going to have to be really, really careful that you don't draw the drama in or start the drama because you can fix it like that right now. So that has us good as bad. But you have two placements that are in your fifth house. Hey, Brody, is there any way that you could turn the AC colder? I was really hoping to say that. Yeah, I'm burning up. It was cold in there a while ago, and now I'm burning up. Well, so, that. what's it on? Uh, 74. Oh my God, 72. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I can't say. <laughs> yeah, please don't. So, Kathy, you have two placements that are in your fifth house, two planetary placements. So, the first one is your ascending, okay? It is right in the middle of your fifth house right now. So, what you put out to people, the, the, um, the you that you put out is going to be the luckiest part of you right now. Here's the tricky part though. Your Mercury sits right on the line between your fourth and fifth house and it is in retrograde for you. Words are not your friend right now. Words are also, or your uh, Mercury is also sitting right there on that Leo. So you're gonna have to be really, really careful with what you say and how you say it, okay? So, yeah, it's, so we're actually staying outside of Vegas, down by the Hoover Dam. And where we were staying last night, it got down in the uh, 
Was it the 40s? Uh, I don't know, but it got pretty cold. Yeah, upper 40s, lower 50s in Gallup, New Mexico last night. I want to say maybe 54, but it was pretty cool. It was nice. It was only going to be 74 there today. It was 93 here. So we went through that big of a uh, temperature change. So it was fun. All right, Miss Christine Carver. You ready, sugar? I'm having to go nice and slow so I don't break the internet. Oh, I think I broke it. I done fucked myself. two charts for you, Christine. That's weird. And I'm going back to the other one because it has your birth time on it, so I'm going to use it. And for those of you guys that were all concerned, yes, I did eat today. Ooh, okay, Christine. You have your Cancer and your Leo placement in your fifth house. And your fifth house is very, very large. Um, no, no, no. Don't, don't quote me on that because I didn't forward it to today. My sorry, Christine. My sorry. <laughs> that was when you were born. <laughs> so, Christine, here's the things in your fifth house. Your fifth house is sitting between Virgo and Libra. Most of it is in Libra, meaning you are very, very lucky in seeing where balance is needed and balancing things out. Your fifth house is much bigger than I originally said, okay? Here's, here's the bad, because there's actually some bad. Here's the bad. You have three planetary placements in your fifth house. All three of them are in retrograde. All three of them are in Libra, meaning they're a little emotional. First one would be your Mars. Being that it's in retrograde, you are having a problem with that fire, with that strength, and with that um, masculine aspect of yourself. You aren't standing up to people that you need to stand up to. Your Saturn is also in retrograde in your fifth house, meaning karmically there's not a lot you can do to clear anything out right now. It just, it is what it is. And then you also have your Pluto in retrograde in your fifth house. So right now you are feeling a little down about yourself. You feel like you aren't looking like yourself, like you're just being really hard on yourself. Does that make sense? Okay. I know it's freezing guys and I'm so sorry. I am recording this so that way I can put it on YouTube. Yeah. So you guys will be able to watch it later, okay? Because the Wi-Fi here is pissing me off. And hey, gives me a chance to show you guys these. I bought some horny toad earrings today at one of the shops that we stopped at. They are turquoise and they make me super happy and I'm really, really excited about them. I will be sporting them as much as possible. <laughs> so, all right, Miss Christine, you just have to be very, very careful about running yourself in the dirt too far, about trying to do too many things to clear them out karmically, and about connecting to that divine masculine aspect of you. But the amazing part about your lucky streak right now is that uh, you can see where balance needs to happen with you, with situations, with other people around you, okay? So, I will get this uploaded on YouTube. I'm recording it on my laptop, not my laptop, my uh, iPad. All right, Miss Laura Cardella, ready? Do I have a chart for you yet, Miss Laura? Because once I'm off my phone, I do not. So let's get you a new chart, Miss Laura. So I will, um, no, 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 no.
Once I'm off TikTok, I will be able to upload that using my hotspot. Miss Laura. Miss mm. Laura, your lucky house, your fifth house, currently sits between Libra and Scorpio. Most of it is Scorpio. Your fifth house is pretty large right now. Most of it is in Scorpio. But I don't consider that a bad thing. You do have two planetary placements in your fifth house. Both of them lie in Scorpio. One is your Venus. The other is your Neptune. Venus, of course, is your divine feminine, is your love, is you being able to use all of your feminine power right now. You are extremely lucky with anything to do with the divine feminine and your feminine power. Also in love. The fact that Neptune is there, Neptune is a planet of going with the flow. Right now, you are going to be much more able to relax, let life happen the way it is, and enjoy it. Being that both of those are in Scorpio, both of those are water placements, don't be surprised if you're bringing other words, other water placements to you, such as people that have water signs as their main zodiac they have a lot of water placements etc um just know that you don't have to fix people that come your way okay all right miss rosie do I have your chart already, Miss Rosie? Let's look. Lori, I do have a chart for you already. I just spelled your name wrong. I'm sorry. Miss Rosie Mondragon, you ready? Woo, you have so much shit in your fifth house. Oh my God. Okay. Ready? <laughs> ready? Your fifth house sits between your Virgo and your Libra, like equally in half, meaning that you are seeking balance and you're being very, very lucky in finding that balance. It also means that your plans and your thoughts and how you move forward are aligned with what you want to do. So this is amazing. You have four planetary placements in your fifth house, in your lucky house. You have your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, and your Pluto, all in your fifth house, meaning your divine feminine, your divine masculine, your communication, and your appearance are all extremely lucky right now. You are feeling very, very good about yourself. Your physical appearance, your outward appearance is going to bring luck your way. You are extremely lucky in love. Extremely lucky in love. So far the luckiest person that I've seen right now. Um, but those two placements are also both in Virgo, meaning you're going to overthink everything. So don't overthink it. Okay. <laughs> don't overthink it. Just enjoy it. But your, your uh, Mercury is also in Virgo and it's in your fifth house, meaning that words are power right now. What you speak out into the universe is going to happen. Your words are extremely lucky right now. You kind of have almost all the luck. You're like exuding the pheromones. You look great to everybody. And uh, your words have a massive amount of power. Just don't overthink it, okay? 
because having those three in Virgo means you're gonna overthink it. Yeah. <laughs> you can have the perfect person just fall in your lap and you're gonna overthink it. So don't overthink it. I'm just saying. I'm so glad that that uh, that was good. Oh, Tina, I'm trying to pull yours up, and I, oh, the Wi-Fi is doing its thing again. Rosie, your transit chart, the lines in the middle also look like a little crown right now. It's really cute. I'm just saying what I'm saying. <laughs> So hi, how are you? <laughs> Just waiting for it to decide if it's gonna work or not. Gotta love this. Well, I will probably be going downstairs and asking like, can I pay for Wi-Fi? <laughs> can I pay for a better signal? Because I gotta work all weekend and uh, I can't do this. I can't do this. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. I'm just saying what I'm saying. So. It is being recorded, Miss Lori, but I'm recording it on my tablet and I will upload it to YouTube because right now I'm having an issue with everything uh, loading correctly. Alrighty. I appreciate all of the uh, invitations to go live with other people, but I don't do that when I'm reading, guys. All right, Miss Tina, you get a squeaky clean new chart. For some reason, I thought that I had a chart of yours already, Miss Tina, but I guess not. Ready? I finally got it pulled up. I said that. I just fucked myself. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it looks like some of a bitch. It's going to freeze up. Ooh, Miss Tina. Your whole fifth house. Your whole fifth house is Sagittarius. <laughs> Meaning you have an amazing ability right now to put pizzazz into everything, to put a performance out for everything. And to top it off, your ascending, your rising, is also in Sagittarius, in your fifth house right now. Girl, you are the chameleon of chameleons right now, and you're doing it with some amazing pizzazz. And the more that you do this, the more lucky you're gonna find yourself and everything you're trying to do and put out into the world. Holy shit, Tina. Like that, that's all I'm gonna say. Holy shit. Having that, having Sagittarius completely in your fifth house and then having your ascending there too, girl, you literally can create your own luck right now. 
You can create your own look right now. I'm just saying. So I have no idea what's going on with this. It looked like it started my list back over. So Miss Minnie, I have you again. Um, I'm not sure if you meant to order two or not. So I'm hopefully she's on here. Because I did hers already, but she's on here a second time. And I didn't know if she wanted me to read her or someone else. So what I'm going to do is go to Heather McDonald. And if Miss Minnie pops up, Sass, will you um, kind of make sure that she did order two? Um, because it's the same thing, you know what I mean? It's pulling her birth chart. So if she didn't mean to order two, I just need to send, send that money back to her. All right, Heather McDonald. that I have a chart for you, Miss Heather, but let's find out. So in case you guys didn't know, I got some new ink on my leg and my foot, and now it's to that, um, it's to that itchy phase, and I'm trying to be good and not itch it. Is Heather Ooh, you kind of have all the glamour magic going right now your fifth house sits split right between your Virgo and your Libra and right in the middle of those but on the Libra side is your Pluto Pluto is your physical appearance. This is the glamour magic. So right now, Miss Heather, you have an amazing ability to see balance and to make balance happen. You're very lucky with it. You're also very lucky with making plans because of your Virgo being in that placement. And then you have all of the glamour magic, beauty magic luck right now. All of it. Use that to your advantage, girl. <laughs> Use that to your advantage. Glamour magic and beauty magic is a thing, guys. It is a thing. What do you think makeup is? What do you think lighting and camera angles are? I'm just saying what I'm saying. And Heather is the master of it right now. Just saying. All right, Miss Karina, Karina. I'm pretty sure I have yours. Let me look here. There you are, Miss Karina Karina. All right. So your fifth house has Aries and Taurus. There's your, I knew it was coming. Your Taurus is a little more. So right now, this is gonna sound weird when I say it. You have a mass amount of, amount of luck in sticking to your guns. In 
holding on to what it is you want, holding it on, holding on to what you believe in, what you're standing for, putting your feet in the dirt and not moving. You have a massive amount of luck there. You also have a very, very good amount of luck in your Aries being there, as in starting new things, doing something new. Now, you do have a planetary placement here. Your Venus is in Aries, but it's also in retrograde in your chart. Meaning right now, you feel a little disconnected to your own feminine abilities, to your divine feminine, your feminine power. So that is something you're gonna have to fight a little bit, um, especially when it comes to starting new things. Divorce, gotcha. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Well, the fact that your Taurus is in your fifth house and that is you sticking to your guns and sticking to your needs, your wants, your beliefs, don't give in, okay? Don't give in because your luck doesn't lie in you giving in and being fluid right now. And I'm sorry that your your Venus is uh, I'm sorry that your Venus is in the not nice phase there. All right, Miss Tosh Martin, or is it Mister? I'm so sorry, Tashana. I have yours, but let me look. In fact, I pretty much know I don't. Yep. I do not. Are you ready? All righty. Okay. So, you don't have any planetary placements in your fifth house currently, but what you do have are two different zodiac signs. You have your Aquarius and you have your Pisces. So, Aquarius is a very interesting creative sign. The fifth house is lucky, but it's also a creative house. So, that tells me right now, your luck, you are a creative powerhouse of luck right now. Anything creative, artistic, etc., coming up with uh, unique solutions to problems, creative solutions to problems, and then also your Pisces is in your fifth house right now. You're also very lucky with your own emotions right now. The thing you have to be careful is with your Pisces being in your fifth house, you can get over emotional if you're not careful, okay? Girl, use that Aquarius to your advantage. Use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage. That creative powerhouse in a creative lucky house. Uh, damn. Damn. That's fantastic. And hey, look at it this way. You don't have any planets in retrograde in that fifth house. So that's a good thing. Not not making light of those that you those of you that did, but I'm just saying that's a good thing. Tashana right now, like your creativity is on point. So even if it's like, it comes out of your mouth and you're like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. Still do it, do it. And I'm happy to see you, my friend. <laughs> I thought that was probably you. I mean, I don't think there's a lot of Tashanas out there, are there? Are there, really? I will make it down to Florida next year because I'm not booking myself stupid so I can bring Dustin to you. I 
love you, sweet pea. All right, Miss Haley Miller. I'm afraid to refresh my page. doing it. It's doing it. All right, Miss Haley Miller. Yeah, I've never met another one. <laughs> I love you, sweet pea. Besides, I owe you an aura drawing and a palm reading. Much better in person. All right, Miss Haley. You know, I spoke too soon about this thing working correctly. It's probably my brain that's actually not working correctly. <laughs> All right, Ms. Haley, you get a squeaky clean chart. I'm losing connection back and forth. Of course I am. Miss Haley Haley. So your fifth house is pretty large in your chart right now. You have two planetary placements and you have two zodiacs. So your fifth house sits between your Scorpio and your Sagittarius. Slightly a bit more Scorpio than Sagittarius. And a big yawn for me, and I'm sorry. So, on the Scorpio side, you have your Venus, meaning that you're extremely lucky right now with anything at all. Divine feminine, love, all the mushy stuff like that. That's in the Scorpio, meaning you're going to feel that divine feminine power. You're going to feel that need to jump out and do the love, okay? Now, the other planetary placement you have is Saturn and it's in Sagittarius. Meaning right now, if any of you guys wanted to come up with a very creative way for karma to strike back at someone else, to get back at someone else, Haley is your girl because she can be like, oh, do this, 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 and not know how she knew to do that, 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 that. She probably can also put it out into the universe. Haley, you are extremely lucky with very creative ways of karma right now. And lucky in love. Um, damn. 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 Let me see how many of these I have done so far, guys, and how many more I have to get through because the um, internet is kind of being a shit. Like I'm trying to check people in, mark them off my list, and it's not letting me do that either. <laughs> Oh my god. It is what it is. Right? Right? Allie, you're next. So give me just a minute. <laughs> I'll get it up here in a little bit, Haley. But basically, you're extremely lucky in love and you're extremely lucky in dishing out the karma. You didn't get a word? Oh. 
you also have your fifth house between your Scorpio and your Sagittarius. So your Venus is in your Scorpio, meaning that you are overly lucky in love right now and your divine feminine power. And your Saturn is in Sagittarius, meaning that you can come up with some amazingly creative ways to um, dole out the karma, sweet pea. <laughs> It's, it's buffering again. So, hi. How we doing? Miss <laughs> Lori, I did do yours up toward the front. And so, you're so welcome, Miss Haley. So, um, I, I am recording this on my tablet. And I will get it uploaded to YouTube. I promise, guys. And I will be going down to the front desk and saying, Hey, um, can I pay for better internet? Because this is dumb. I have to work all weekend. I need, I can't do this can't do this yeah I can't do this okay so let's do this oh no internet again yeah this is going to not be uh, acceptable to me Now it's not picking up any networks at all. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Mm, the joys of traveling, y'all. The joys of traveling. It's just funny. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm kind of wondering, like, I have a Wi-Fi extender if I shouldn't just be bringing it to hotels with me. I'm just saying what I'm saying. That or maybe I need to, um... Oh, really, Debs? Interesting. Allie, I know that I have your chart, so let me see if it'll let me uh, at least open it because you're right here in front of me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I may have to uh, get a portable hotspot because this is dumb. So in the meantime, <laughs> when we got here a while ago, got checked in, we had a couple hours until we had to, uh, until I had to be live, right? So, went downstairs, goofed off for a little bit. I'm not a gambler, so I always look at it like this. If I have 40 bucks in my pocket and I put them in slots and machines, I'm gonna lose $40, that's how I look at it. So I gave my son a little bit of money and I put $20 in the machine sitting up at the bar and I won like, I was down a little bit and then I won, I got up to like $36, right? So I was like, well, hey, let's go in there and play like some bigger games, some good games, right? So we go and play a couple of them and we get on this one really crazy one. I wasn't even paying attention, right? I wasn't even paying attention. And suddenly I won $136. And then I wasn't paying attention again. And I won, I was up over $200. And so I was like, hey, let's just cash out and go eat dinner. <laughs> so we went and ate dinner. And here we are. I'm just, right now, would love to have the Wi-Fi connect like it's supposed to. But hey, you know what? It made me happy. So, now if I could just get lucky with the Wi-Fi again. I have my fingers crossed. All of them. Right? And that's all of them? Uh, there, I can even cross like those. <laughs> is that what it is? Am I not holding my tongue right? Like, I don't know what's going on here. 
gotta love it. It just says connecting. And this is why I didn't put uh, any more tickets on because I already knew this was gonna do this bullshit. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, that's all I need is more money to buy things at the event. I'm already not allowed to walk around with my own wallet. It, it's just not, not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I'm trying to download the internet ferry. And I'm sitting right by the uh, air conditioner, so it's blowing right on me. And I went from being way too hot to being cold. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be going downstairs and asking to pay for Wi-Fi. Or figuring out what the fuck can be done. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. And no, I can't be the only person that works at a hotel. Like that stays in a hotel and works from their room. There we go. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous all. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We gotta use the correct Harry Potter terminology. Ridiculous. It says I'm connected, but it just is not allowing me to do anything. just stop you two from doing your thing and let's go back down here <laughs> probably, probably Kelso is going to cost me $200 to get the internet. Yep. I'm going to unconnect and reconnect one more time. Allie. <laughs> <laughs> Technology is, yeah, that's it. That's it exactly. The more technology, the more difficult your life becomes. There we go. All right, Miss Allie, I got you up, girl. Here we go. Hmm. So. Your whole fifth house sits in Taurus. And you have your Mercury on the line between your fourth and fifth houses. And there's a lot of twos. A one, two, three, four, five. There's five twos in your fifth house. So two is going to be an extremely lucky number for you, Miss Allie. Thought my son was asleep, but he's not. Your communication is also extremely lucky, meaning that uh, your words have a ton of power right now, Miss Allie. Be careful what you put out into the universe, okay? Because it, it's bordering that fourth and fifth house. Being that your whole fifth house is in Taurus, all of it's in Taurus, that right there tells me that um, you need to be very careful about sticking your feet in the dirt and not moving, okay? That is going to bring you a lot of luck right now, not shifting your position, 
but be really careful with it because there is such a thing as being too hardcore with it. Does that make sense? So, words are your power right now, girl. Words are your power. Use them wisely and use them very strongly because they also sit in your Taurus. So, your words have a massive amount of weight to them and a massive amount of punch. So, so, I'm just going to say so repeatedly, so. Just saying. So. <laughs> I definitely was that kid that, you know, you can't say, don't say that, because I'm going to say it. I'm getting better with when people say you can't do that. I'm getting better at not immediately going to do it. Like, I might do it later, but not immediately going to do it. All right, let me see if it will actually check people in now. Oh, my God, it did. All right, Miss Sorinda. I would add more tickets, guys, but I'm really, really worried about the internet right now. Get you a nice squeaky clean new chart. Girl, you ready? Good night, D, honey. Woo! Okay. So, your fifth house is mainly in Virgo, but there is a little bit of Leo in there. About a third. Yeah, about a third is Leo and two thirds is Virgo. Meaning that. You're very lucky in squashing drama. You're also very lucky in making plans right now. So anything that you put a lot of planning into is going to have a massive amount of energy and luck behind it. Here's what's interesting. Your fifth house is pretty large right now, meaning it spans a decent amount of your chart. Your Mercury is right smack in the middle of it. Right smack in the middle of it. It is at five degrees in your fifth house. So five is going to be a lucky number for you. You also have two 24s in your fifth house. So 24 is also going to be a lucky number for you. But yeah, your Mercury is smack dab in the middle. It is in Virgo. So as long as you plan out what you say, girl, seriously, that's a lot of power. Just plan out what you say and your words are going to get you whatever you want. Planning is key. If you have stuff that you've been wanting to do, planning it out, that's where all of the all of the uh, power is going to lie. All of your luck is going to lie. Okay? So, five is also a very lucky number for you, Miss Sorinda. It's interesting. It's just beautifully set right down in the middle. Right down in the middle. What did I just screw up? Okay. I thought I screwed something up. All right, Christina. Let me find you. Yeah. I don't know if I have yours or not, so let's find out. I'm trying to hurry as I have internet <laughs> before it shits out again. Miss 
Thanks, Christina. You get a brand new chart too, girl. My kid has the same birthday as you. The same day. Yes, 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 Miss Surrender. All right, Christina. So your fifth house sits between your Scorpio and your Sagittarius. You have two planetary placements here. Both of them are in Scorpio. Ready. One is your Neptune, which is going with the flow. Being able to be very fluid, moving, etc. The other is your Venus, which is being extremely lucky in love and your divine feminine. Also, being that that is in your Scorpio means that there's going to be some things that are going to pop up that you're going to want to absolutely run after and you're going to be very lucky and catch them. <coughs> so, be careful what you ask for as far as love and your divine feminine goes because you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're also in a fantastic place to see where you need to just go with the flow. And I have a feeling you're going to surprise some people around you who are not used to you doing that. And you're going to go, well, I think I'm just going to let it be what it is and blah, blah, blah. And watch the luck roll in. And watch the luck roll in. So... Yes, yes. All right. So I have Michelle Elms next. Maybe. There we go. I'm <laughs> like, maybe I can get it over there. Michelle. So your fifth house is very interesting. Um, you have about a third of it in Libra. I almost said Virgo and then my yawn was like, no, it's Libra. It's Libra and the rest is Scorpio. You have three planetary words, three planetary placements. Try saying that fast. I'm serious. All in Scorpio. So, you're very, very lucky in finding balance, and you're very lucky in this powerful movement of water, of going with the flow, of your intuition, of your emotions. So, the first planetary placement you have is your Jupiter, which is your personal power. Like, your personal power right now is through the roof, girl. Second is your Venus, your divine feminine, and your love is amazingly lucky right now and in Scorpio and then right on the line of your fifth and sixth house is house is your Neptune Neptune is also being able to go with the flow and it is in Scorpio as well meaning all the water like right now if you just let things ride and say it is what it is and let it go dude that's your luck that's your luck right now and I mean not like not saying oh my god that's just my luck no 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 your luck lies in letting things ride right now. Just letting them be what they are. Everything is going to turn out good for you if you just let it be what it is. All right, Jeff Harris, you ready? So I have Jeff Harris, Miss Andrea Viennes, Vanessa, Kelsey, Deborah, and Marla. Jeff, have I done a chart for you before? I have. Y'all that I've done charts before are making it easier than y'all realize. All right. So your fifth house, Jeff, is humongous. It is humongous right now in your chart. 
it is half Libra and half Scorpio. Okay, a little over half. So I would say like 60-40. Mostly Libra, Scorpio. Balance is, as long as you have balance, you're going to be extremely lucky because all three of your planetary placements that are in your fifth house right now lie in Libra. So the first one is your Neptune. The second one is Jupiter. And the third one is your Mercury. So your ability to go with the flow and let things be what they are. And then your personal power and your words. So Jeff, your words right now are absolute power. As long as you use them wisely and you use them in balance, okay? Be careful what you say and how you say it. As long as it's balanced out, it's gonna be fantastic. I was looking to see number-wise if there was anything that was repeating a lot. There's several threes. Four threes. So I would say that three is a pretty significant number. Three is also perfect balance. So there's that. All right, Andrea Bienz, I know that I have your chart here. Let's look at your lucky houses. All right. So you have about a third of it in Virgo, the rest is Libra. I am not meaning to keep you on it. You do have, mm, you have three placements that are all in Libra that are in your fifth house. You have your Pluto, you have your Neptune, and then you have your Ascending, okay? Your personal, the way you appear to other people right now, your glamour magic is, um, I was waiting for my connection to come back on. Your glamour magic is much more out there and lucky than you realize it is right now, Andrea. Your Neptune, your ability to go with the flow and to let things be what they are, there's a massive amount of luck in that because it is, there's two 24s in that line, both of them. Also, your ascending is in there, and it's also in Libra right now, meaning that what you put out into the world, how you look to the world, and allowing the world to just be what it is around you is where your luck lies. So, being that it's Libra, it's also a lot of balance. Don't let don't let your need to control a situation wreck your luck, okay? Let things be what they are, kind of, um, just let it ride, okay? And also the fact that uh, your glamour magic is through the roof, it kind of makes me giggle a little bit. It kind of makes me giggle a little bit, Andrea. <laughs> just saying what I'm saying. I'm just saying what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, Miss Vanessa. Maybe. Maybe. Vanessa gets a nice squeaky clean chart too. Diabonzo. No. D. Abonzo. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miss Kathy Poo. Miss Vanessa. 
So your fifth house is a little smaller than some of the others I've seen tonight, but you do have two zodiacs and two planetary placements. Now you have Gemini and Cancer. Your Cancer is probably about a third of your of your fifth house right now. That's a lot of intuition, that's a lot of emotion, and that's a lot of intelligence in there right now. Your sun sign is also on the line between your fourth and fifth house, meaning right now you're just generally lucky. You're just generally lucky. You also have your, your uh, mercury in there, and it's in cancer. So words are luck for you right now. Don't try to structure them too much. Speak from the heart. Speak from the um, emotion. Speak from the deeper part of you, not the uh, structured, hardcore part, okay? That's where your luck lies right now, is allowing your words to be filled with the emotion that's in there. But also, in general, you're just a lucky-ass person right now. You're just a lucky-ass person right now. Ah! Oh, Becca, you're so sweet. I saw that comment pop up and I tried to scroll back up and it almost had me mute Tiffany. I'm like, no, no, what are you doing right now? What are you doing with your life right now, sir? Uh-oh. Okay. Kelsey, you ready? Maybe because I can't spell. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, Miss Kelsey, here we go, girl. Woo! Your whole fifth house, except the teeny tiny bit, is in Scorpio. A teeny tiny bit of it is in Sagittarius. But when I say teeny tiny bit, I mean less than a fourth of it. The vast majority of it is in Scorpio. It's a lot of water. You also have four planetary placements in your fifth house right now. Fuck tons of luck. You ready? You have your Venus. You have your Mercury. You have your Jupiter. And you have your Pluto. Meaning, you have a massive amount of divine feminine power and glamour magic luck right now. You look amazing to other people. Your personal power is also extremely lucky right now. And your words hold a crazy amount of power. You also have repeating 15s here. There are three 15s in that. Three. That's a lot. That's a lot. Girl. A lot of you guys have a crazy amount of divine feminine power right now. And I don't know if you just need a confirmation or you just don't think that highly of yourself. Because, damn, damn, that's a lot. You literally can just uh, walk right through whatever you want. Use your words, your emotional words, and smooth it over and bam. Bam. Girl, your personal power is through the roof right now. You are extremely lucky with it. 
extremely lucky with it. So guys, don't stress. I am recording this on my tablet and I will get it on YouTube even if I have to go to Starbucks and use their fucking Wi-Fi. <laughs> I got you guys. I'm not going to just let it go. I promise. All right. So I have Miss Deborah Wester Westwood. I almost called you Westerwood. Miss Deborah Westwood and then Maria Martin. Deborah, do I already have a chart for you? Let me look. For some reason, I think I do. Well, if I could spell your name right. I knew I did. Because you're a January baby, too. All right, girl. Let's look here. Woo. Okay. So, your fifth house is pretty compact right now. It's almost all in Taurus. You have about a fourth of it in Aries. So, let's talk about the Taurus part first. The Taurus part means that right now, you need to be holding on to your holding on to your guns. You need to be uh, making sure that you stand very firm in decisions, that when you make decisions, you don't go back. You holding on to your beliefs, to what you're working towards, literally putting your feet in the ground and not letting other things move you out of it. That's where your luck lies. Also, having that little bit of Aries there, anything new you want to start right now, this is the time for it. This is the time for it, Deborah. Um, I will say, if you're starting something new, being that the majority of your fifth house is in Taurus right now, I would plan everything out according to how you have always felt about that thing. Does that make sense? So like if you're wanting to start a new hobby and you've always felt this needs to be done and that needs to be done this way and this way and this way, that's exactly what you should do. Don't change it, okay? Don't change it. And I know some of you guys are like, well, that's not very a very good way to be lucky and, you know, putting your feet down and not moving them. It's a great way to be lucky. It's a great way to be lucky. And my connection was fucked up, so let me not talk for a minute. Are we back? Nope, still got the red dot. Ugh. There we go. Alright, Miss Maria Martin. I don't think I have your chart either, so. Let me look. I do not. So let me create you a nice new chart too. Almost all of your fifth house right now lies in Virgo. There's a tiny bit of it that lies in Leo, but not really enough to matter. It just means that uh, you easily are going to bring drama into you because you can solve it right now. Not a lot of drama, but a little bit. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So, you do have two planetary placements that are in your fifth house. One is your Pluto, meaning your personal appearance, and the other is your Neptune, meaning your ability to go with the flow. Now, what's funny about this is both of those are in uh, Virgo. So, your appearance is going to be very structured. That's where your luck is, and I know that sounds weird, but when it's been, unfortunately, scientifically proven that when you appear to look better to other people, you get more things. Luck comes your way, okay? When your Pluto is in your fifth house, this is a good thing because it means that you appear better to other people, meaning your luck is just going to flow your way because you appear better. You appear to either be 
more than you are or whatever. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Having your Neptune in there is actually a really, really good thing because that's also your ability to go with the flow. Being that it's in Virgo, it's kind of fighting against each other. But what's interesting is it's also at zero degrees. So right now, what I'm going to say is trust your gut on that. Absolutely trust your gut. It's going to give you the opportunity to uh, decide when and where you move forward and when you stick your feet in the ground. Okay? Let me see who else I've got on my list. I think that actually might be it. And if you guys missed your reading, no big deal. I've got them. I've got them recorded right here for you. And I will get them up on YouTube. I'm sure that once I get off of all these other devices, it will be a little bit better. Oh, I must be having issues again because... Yep, that is the last of my list, guys. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and pause YouTube here. I will get this uploaded.